Minnesota riding a three-game win streak into its showdown with number 16 Northwestern, a game you can see here on BTN Saturday noon Eastern time. Very pleased to be joined now from our studio in Minneapolis by the quarterback of the Golden Gophers, Mitch Leidner. Mitch, good game for you guys offensively against Ohio. You had a season high in yards, had a season high in points as well. Where did you see the most progress offensively in that game? Well, I think the offensive line did a good job stepping up for, up for us that game and, uh, you know, really giving me time in the pocket to make some throws. And the receivers doing a great job downfield, getting open, running great routes and, and catching the football. So overall, you know, it was a good team win. You know, the running backs as well stepped up, played good that game, able to open up the passing game. So it was a good team win for us, especially offensively. How does where this offense is right now compare to where you thought it would be heading into the year? Well, you thought, uh, it, it's a progress. It's definitely a progress. And, uh, you know, I think each day we're getting better. And that's what, that's what counts at this point in the season. And, uh, you know, we're better than we were last week. And, you know, we want to keep, getting, keep improving each week. So, you know, it's a, it's a process. Uh, we're doing some things differently offensively. So, you know, that's all you can really ask for at this time. No Max Williams, no David Cobb. They were such mainstays for you offensively a year ago. How tough has that adjustment been for you? You know, it's, it's tough at times, but I think the tight ends have done a really good job of stepping up in the role of Max Williams. And, you know, we've had multiple tight ends get catches throughout games. And uh, the running backs, you know, really last game, two freshman running backs stepping up and, and having really big games. So that was huge for us, you know, especially trying to replace a guy like David Cobb because, you know, it's not easy to do because he's such a, you know, powerful every down back. But those guys stepping up last week helped us out a lot. You mentioned the running backs. It was really the first time that all of us got a chance to see Shannon Brooks carry the ball. Did you see this coming in practice? Well, uh, not really exactly. I know he had a really good uh, scrimmage one day back during camp, but, you know, we saw then he was very explosive running back, and, you know, at times we weren't sure if he would be playing as a freshman or not. Uh, and in the Colorado State game, he got one play out there, but that was about it. So. Uh, really, you know, took advantage of his opportunity against Ohio and, and showed us what he could do. Hey, Mitch, I want to ask you a question playing off something that Jerry Kill said last week on his radio show. I'm sure you've heard it by now. I want to get the quote right. Quote, I won't recruit another quarterback from the state of Minnesota. It's too hard. His parents get abused. He can't get out. What was your reaction when you heard that? Well, I, I just kind of laugh at it, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it really doesn't offend me or anything like that. Um, you know, it's that it's how it is playing in a pro sports town. You'll, you'll face a lot of criticism at times. And, uh, you know, that's just that's just how it works. Being a quarterback and a head football coach, both me and Coach Kill take a lot of criticism. You know, when the team doesn't do good and when the team does do good, we, you know, we get the credit for that as well. But, you know, it's all part of the game and it's going to make me a better person later on in life. So it's just the way it goes. Has it been challenging on your family? I mean, no, it's, it's you know, my, my family takes it with a grain of salt. They understand, uh, you know, what it's like to be a college football player and that type of thing. And they understand that fans can be critical of me sometimes. But, hey, you know, they support me and that's all that matters. Let's turn ahead to the game this week against Northwestern. Like you guys, they are playing really well, particularly as a defensive team. So that's the challenge facing you. What do you see as you watch them and get ready for them on tape? Yeah, they definitely have a lot of good playmakers on their defense. They're, they're a physical football team, and, you know, it's really going to be important for O-line to step up and, and play physical as well. You know, hopefully we get a good ground attack going on them and, and be able to open some things up in the passing game. But, you know, they got playmakers all over the place, so we just got to be smart with the football, you know, take care of the football and, and play our game. Anyone in particular who has stood out? I know, I know that linebacker, number 18, he's a, he's a playmaker. He's all over the field. You know, I think there was one game where he had near 20 tackles. So, I mean, he's definitely a guy you got to look out for. How would you compare their defense to your defense? You know, I, I think they're, they're very similar to our defense. You know, the only thing is, is that, you know, they might not be as much of risk takers as a guy like Brian Body Calhoun. So, you know, they're, they're going to wait for, for us to make some mistakes, you know, and, and that's where we, we offensively need to be, a, be sound during that time of the game. Well, maybe you're hinting at it right there, but from an offensive perspective, what's the biggest key to winning this game? You know, don't turn the football over. You know, it's been emphasized for us all season long, and, you know, last week we don't turn the ball over, and we have a lot of success on our offense. So uh, we definitely want to keep doing that moving forward. 
Quarterback of the Gophers, Mitch Leidner. Mitch, thanks for taking a few minutes to speak with us. Best of luck on Saturday against Northwestern and going forward the rest of the year. Thank you. Appreciate that.